I have experienced unbelievable success with what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. And if you do it right, and if you put your head down and you focus and you do hard work, I believe that this will take you to the top 1% of bloggers, right? I believe you can do it, but it's gonna take hard work. It's gonna take hard work and a little patience. But this is exactly what I do to help my clients, to help my websites rank higher using free tools that we have today. AI is here, people. I have I haven't talked about this in my channel, this YouTube channel yet. So this is new stuff. So let's get into it. So we're going to use Claude. Claude is one of the primary tools here. Claude is super powerful. I like Claude more and more. Let me know in the comments, do you like Claude? But anyways, you see here, paste.txt. What did I do here? I, I, I put a lot of information in is what I did. So I have a TXT document. But what is this document all about? What is this data and how are we going to use it? All this stuff, we're going to focus on mesophilioma. Why? Why are we going to use that term? It's because it's one of the most competitive terms in the world. And I'll show you how you can compete using data, using Claude, using ChatGPT, using Word Galaxy, using all the tools at our disposal. So let's go. So let's go on a little journey. I've typed in mesophilioma England up here very important right whenever you want to rank for something type it into google and see what shows up i'm telling you the top guys in seo do this this is so simple but i want to find law firms right and the sponsored one up here is a law firm great we're going to click on that in a second the second one here is presumably a law firm and then the rest of it right these are our government websites i don't care about these they're government websites google is giving preference to government websites and the organic traffic here what does this mean for us well it means a few things which we'll get into and don't ever forget people also ask is here but first one let's click here let's see what these guys have going on sokolov law look here okay a nice website right a nice website how could we improve this my question is how could we improve this but i did a little digging around and i went to their sitemap check this out sitemap.xml very interesting and you go to posts here there's no posts all right you go to pages here there's eight urls what does that mean for us that means that this is merely a google ads landing page type of situation they are not after organic traffic that's not what we want to go after they are paid on this channel we talk about seo which is organic traffic but now let's look at the second sponsor we know they're putting money behind this listen to me this website is spending an incredible amount of money to be here that means that they have an interest here is this merely a landing page it looks nice it looks really nice it's built out in eureka Eureka, we have some blog type of things. And look, if we go to the top, ooh, yes, we know that they are building out content to attract organic traffic, and we can use this. Now, don't forget, we're going to come back to Claude right in a second, but it's important to understand what the heck is going on here. So let's go into one of their posts. Let's see what it looks like. Stage one mesophilioma. Okay, let's just click this button up here. I have a plugin called SEO Meta in one click. It's a free uh, Chrome plugin. This is built out like a blog post. Call it what you want, an article, a blog post, content. I don't care. This purpose this purpose right here this article these words on the screen are for being a net listen to me it's like a spider web that attracts organic traffic and my question to you is how could they have done this article better to rank higher on google that's what this whole video is about this is what i do for my clients and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So here we go. The thing is running, right? I told you I'd show you, and I'm going to show you, but the thing is running. It's doing an incredible, uh, incredible. Listen, listen, I can talk incredible amount of work. This is data scientist stuff, right? But look, I had two attachments up here. Do you see? Paste2.txt, paste1.txt. I said, here's an article we need to optimize with the attached data set. Give suggestions on how to create tables to incorporate in this article. I'm sure you're confused right now. That's okay, because I haven't shown you everything. But what I've done, I'm going to show you right now what I've done. I've taken this article right here. Oops, let's click here. This article, Life Expectancy. Okay, this article right here, I pushed to Claude in one TXT folder. All right, and then on top of that, we came to Kaggle. I've shown you this before, Kaggle, in the passive backlink series, right? I'll have a link in the description so you can start at the start to learn how I'm doing this stuff. But Kaggle has this incredible data set on mesophilioma-related deaths in England from here to here. So I said, Claude, consider what I've written. Claude, consider what I got. 
and show me some cool tables, right? Cool tables to include. But listen, before we get on with it, I want to show you the TXT. This is important, right? About the data set, all these things. I merely extracted the Excel data in here as well as pushing all of this. I just copied this from here down or whatever, right? And I pushed it to this TXT. That's one of them. And then the other one, like I said, is, is that one article. I pushed those to Kaggle, and now it just has, it has the article. Let's be very clear. It has one article that we've written that we want to optimize with a data set. And we asked it, what can we do to make this better, more or less? But I asked it tables. And why are tables so good? Why are these cool? Right, create a table showing life expectancy improvements for different treatments. Why is that cool? And we can reference the data, the official data. It's because whenever you supply Google with new data that doesn't exist before, right, it doesn't exist in this particular way, you are going to rank higher. Make sure it's accurate, but this is new data and Google loves new data. Now let's see if we can get any better. Tell me where to exactly put these tables in the article mention right mention the um headers where they belong all right let's see if claude can do so we're testing out claude's capability i like claude a lot more and more i told you that in the beginning claude is probably going to become a powerhouse especially when i get access to their api i can't wait to create some tools on top of this all right so here are some suggestions um under this under that so do you understand what's happening here it's saying under this specific header what is the life expectancy of a person uh table one summarizes so table one boom table one so that's perfect so that's exactly what we want to do so we're going to ask one more thing we're going to say do you have any more suggestions for new tables the more data the better all right we're talking to a robot crazy 2023 the year 2023 we're talking to robots and here we go it starts to pump this out the first one is eh but it says table showing mesothelioma cases and deaths by region this is localized right this is an english england based company right law firm this is localized this shows google we're considering the local areas you want to rank higher if this law firm wants to rank higher they could consider doing things like this table showing mesothelioma deaths by year okay wonderful uh table comparing survival rates by mesothelioma stage so let's take a step back a second i really need to drive this home why does this work it's because everyone is regurgitating everyone's information now it's going to continue to happen and happen and happen and happen right ai products are just regurgitating data llms have data sets but if you can do a little work on top of it use word galaxy use you know chat gpt use claude to create articles sure but then if you can inject unique data it takes a little bit of time i get it it's not auto blogging i get it but guess what it works but now, like most things, there's many ways to do this. And I'm going to show you a different tactic, break down this article into a more optimized H2 header structure. All right, here's a suggestion for restructuring this article. What it is, average life expectancy, da 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 So it's going on. We basically gave it a competitor. Let's pretend we're a different law firm. And we know this firm is ranking for this, right? Wonderful. Let's give it to Claude. Let's give it to ChatGPT or whatever. And tell me what is a good header structure to consider. Make it more optimized. Now check this out. I guarantee you have not seen this tool. Do you know how I know you haven't seen it? Because this is our new internal tool. Thank you for watching the video so far. It's like eight minutes in, right? I appreciate you. But listen, this is a new tool. This is a sneak peek. It's rough. It's still rough. We type in a keyword. What does the tool do? It scrapes URLs, right? If I scroll all the way down, it takes all of the text and then dun, 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 it breaks them into entities. All right, check it out. Life, expectancy, and then these are sorted by frequency. Okay, let's look at a different example just so you understand. Best fishing methods for bass. Here's the top three URLs. Scrape these. Tell me the entities and the associated words with those entities sorted by frequency. This is one of many things this tool will do. I'm rolling through it fast. You can rewatch this part, but look, here's bass, here's fishing, here's fish, here's water, clear water, deep water. In this article, if I was talking about best fishing methods for bass, I can easily know that water, okay, clear water, deep water. I need to talk about these things, right? What kind of line? Line knots, 10 pound fluorocarbon. These things are mentioned throughout the article. We're going to have a visualization to help you create these articles. But nonetheless, with our mesophilioma article, if we're going to use Word Galaxy, right? We have the header structure. We have the style as professional. I'm cool with that. English. Remember, this has like 50 different languages you can use. But over here to the right, 
right? Why are we making this tool? Well, partially to help Word Galaxy out because we can inject keywords over here to the right that the tool will try to put throughout the article. So if we know, like, let's just say right here, I want to have these five in the article. If it makes sense, push it right here. I'm going to come down to say expectancy, life expectancy, take four of these, boom. And all of a sudden I can hit, you know, article length two, create article. It's spitting. We're off to the races and we wait a second. And listen, while we wait for that article, it's gonna take like two minutes. And remember, you can do multiple instances with Word Galaxy. That means I could have multiple articles being created at one time, right? But if you like that tool, that little sneak peek, make sure to join the newsletter because I'm gonna be sending out emails for people to opt in to get like beta access in the future, right? And just like that, we have a humongous article based on the headers that we gave to Claude. Remember, we gave Claude the competition. And on top of that, to the right here, right, every single keyword that we asked it is in the article. If you click on one of these, you could even push hyperlinks, right? But nonetheless, this is a fast way to get articles. And then if you want to go the extra mile, use data to incorporate. Why are we using data? Listen to me. Because if someone comes on your website and they're searching for life expectancy, mesothelioma and they come and they're satiated and they do not go after more of that term on Google. In other words, they come to your website and they're like, Ooh, I got what I wanted. And they don't search Google again. They know Google knows this. They're going to reward you because you're serving the client what they need. And how to do that is to provide awesome data. This will help you rank higher. It'll help the customer experience on page time. This is holistic. SEO people. Do you feel me? I appreciate you. If you want to get on the newsletter, I'll send out like a beta thing, right? In the future for the new tool. It's the name is to be determined. Um, also listen, this video right here is series one, right? That's the first series in this whole passive backlinks thing where we're going to have data driven blog articles that attract backlinks. This this one, this video here is kind of like a hybrid, right? A hybrid approach that we want to rank higher. But this one is based upon getting backlinks uh, to our articles passively. So I appreciate you. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll check you on the next one.